Hello again. So this is for the lecture of business opportunities. Uh, this lecture also has uh, many slides actually, uh, more than 60 slides, but I'm very confident I can uh, deliver it in a far lesser time than uh, that of uh, topic four. And uh, this topic is about uh, how to come up with ideas that has uh, opportunity relevant to the ideas. And if you have a number of uh, ideas, how to ensure you can choose the correct uh, idea to carry forward with the planning that is including the BMC or uh, business model canvas. So this slide gives you an idea about the uh, important or critical factors uh, when you are starting a business. But I think uh, whatever it is, the first thing has to be is to come up with a business idea. So uh, let's look into how to come up with business ideas and only then look into all the other uh, critical factors that's been highlighted in this uh, slide itself. So to begin with, uh, you have this uh, slide on uh, what's called a checklist on critical question, but uh, I do not think it's uh, as easy as in answering yes and no. Uh, but anyway, even though it's subjective, before you can ever uh, take that ideas, to become a business uh, venture uh, in, in order to fulfill the opportunity, uh, you may want to ask all these questions about that idea, uh, whether it's a, a doable business, whether you have all the requirements to be thought of, and um, even ask to the uh, level of uh, should you do the business altogether, uh, whether it's the best appropriate choice that you have uh, thought of with uh, much consideration and uh, many other questions uh, before you decide on you know several ideas to pick one as the way forward in venturing into business so it's just to ask questions uh, rather than you know jump into uh, into the whole idea Right, uh, this supposedly should be a group activity. Uh, at this moment, it's a video, but um, when I am planning to conduct this activity in the classroom, uh, definitely I will take the opportunity as a, a means to have uh, interaction uh, between myself and also with you as students and also to make it more lively rather than just a video itself as I've been doing now. It is great if you already have an idea and all along, uh, you know, have the ambition to be an entrepreneur, a businessman, and already know a product, uh, a tangible product or, you know, a service, you know, like uh, what has been done by the IT guys such as Bill Gates, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, so they had uh, already an intention. Okay, but what happens to a person who has not come to that uh, point yet? Uh, they do not have an idea yet. Okay, so where do you get the source for business? You gotta ask that question, right? So. Here are all the uh, uh, sources for ideas for starting up a business. Yeah? It could be a matter of uh, just a personal experience you had. Uh, maybe you had a job previously. I will share with you that uh, uh, my own uh, personal experience as well as uh, uh, visiting the uh, trade or exhibition expo, which uh, gave me an idea in uh, coming up with uh, my own product uh, development okay uh, i think uh, also in mind of consumer uh, uh, that also helped me to come up with uh, the idea of the product uh, 
that I will introduce in a while in this uh, uh, lecture as an example on uh, product development from zero to become until a product that is ready in the market. Okay? But uh, for those of you who do not have any ideas yet for a uh, source of making it into a business, so this is all the possibility. Uh, you even have that word there, serendipity, uh, referring to, uh, you know, uh, uh, example is suddenly you're walking on the street and you stumble upon 20 uh, ringgit. Uh, so it's like suddenly come about. It's like, you know, uh, good ong uh, or good luck, uh, just like that. Same idea for a business venture just uh, comes about to you and then you go like, aha, so that's uh, serendipity. Okay? So there are many ways where ideas can come about. So please pay attention to these uh, ideas uh, so that you uh, write it down for future. So here, uh, how to generate ideas, uh, basically it could be to invent from zero, uh, you know, something just entirely new, uh, like Alexander Graham, Graham Bell, who come up with telephone for the very first time. So you have to give credit to him, you know, how he can just, uh, out of nowhere, nobody, he has not seen anyone using a telephone he just comes out with that kind of invention okay so that's a bit more difficult uh, uh, i guess uh, from these three categories invention is the most difficult one okay and then you have innovation uh, uh, taking the telephone uh, a person seen the landline they call it uh, to see and then uh, convert it to become a smartphone okay so it's like, you know, uh, what uh, uh, Steve Jobs has done. But uh, you know or not, uh, I, uh, uh, what do you call, Apple wasn't the first one which came up with smartphone. If you Google the information, you will see uh, actually um, uh, another company came up with smartphone. However, it didn't pick up the way uh, uh, Steve Jobs has done to uh, iPhone. Okay. So it looks like even Steve Jobs has already seen uh, something which is uh, existing and then converted to more of a commercial value has been done with the iPhone or smartphone. Okay. So that's innovation. After that, you have duplication. Oh, not much changes actually <laughs> to uh, replicate what is already existing. Uh, An uh, example that is given there, you know, Malaysians uh, uh, having this culture of liking uh, budaya lepa, uh, sitting in the coffee shop and drinking uh, teh tare or coffee. So why not make it more a bit more standard uh, where uh, not only uh, men uh, sit in the kadai kopi or gerai there, uh, we love that. Then you want to bring a girl, uh, you want to bring it to a better standard, right? So comes the kopi tiam. <laughs> so although you the men do the same thing in garai uh, in a small stall can, they can also bring their girlfriend and do the same thing in a better uh, upper class uh, kopitiam uh, style of uh, uh, outlet uh, so that's how existing idea been uh, made into better outcome uh, that is called duplication so this uh, activity uh, we will conduct if uh, the time permits in a real setting okay but uh, for the purpose of this uh, video i can uh, say that uh, assuming that you have sat down with your group and actually uh, come up with 10 ideas uh, or more than 10 ideas and then we will see how from 10 will become uh, 5 or more than 10 become 5, 5 uh, preferred ideas and then from 5 become 2 and finally become 1. Okay, there's a way to do it. Uh, we, I will teach you okay, uh, in the slides to come. All right, uh, I guess 
you need to know the difference between idea and opportunity a person can always come up with ideas and that's what uh, actually historically uh, you know leonardo da vinci uh, you know him as the one who painted the portrait of mona lisa but he also had uh, other talents and he was uh, in uh, a visionary uh, he he came up with a lot of ideas for the future uh, uh, examples you know uh, helicopters uh, even aeroplane but uh, he cannot be said to taken the opportunity uh, while uh, much much later a person saw that opportunity of uh, uh, inventing helicopter the real you know uh, uh, helicopter as an object that can fly take off uh, differently than an aeroplane and saw that it can be brought uh, uh, can bring things can bring people to places that cannot be done uh, uh, that can be done by an aeroplane so he saw there is an opportunity there's a market so he is an opportunist huh? but leonardo da vinci is only the one that coming up with ideas so you got to know uh, a person who's coming an idea may not be the one that going to come up with uh, opportunity okay it needs to be in tandem where idea become uh, opportunity therefore can create uh, an actual object or a service so in this slide i give you the uh, uh, outcome that what i said earlier that all ideas cannot become opportunity okay in fact uh, they say based on some statistics here i do not know who came up with these statistics according to them uh, the first 18 months actually decides whether any uh, startup company will fail or not and uh, looks like uh, in that 18 months uh, based on these statistics 80% uh, 80% 80 of the company uh, if you have 100 companies uh, only 20 companies actually uh, considered to go on further uh, to stay beyond 18 months uh, but looks like uh, the other 80 will fail altogether so what does that mean is when you come up with ideas make sure it is a really a, a good idea that will fall in that small fraction there rather than that big blue fraction uh, that end up failing okay uh, i also have uh, provided the link there at the bottom for 50 creative business ideas for entrepreneurs for your observation uh, for for you to uh, look at it uh, look at it uh, go through the list and see whether any uh, will be of your choice to make it into a startup company okay just to give an idea i'm not asking you to uh, start up the company altogether so here given uh, how you can uh, you know you might get a lot of ideas uh, put together by brainstorming and then how do you look into uh, making sure the idea actually won't be a failure uh, but rather go through this uh, uh, one two three four uh, steps until it will be a good fit no? so this just to uh, uh, a process to evaluate all your ideas okay uh, firstly look into coming up with uh, ideas and then uh, one after the other evaluate it uh, to see which one is more promising uh, compared to the other one okay uh, you will see that uh, uh, most of your ideas may not be answering uh, the opportunities that is available uh, maybe there is no uh, idea with uh, the uh, you know link with opportunity okay then you have to also see whether you have the step three which is quite crucial whether you have the time uh, money uh, whether it's a doable uh, uh, idea altogether even though the idea 
fits very well with the opportunity but what about uh, you know uh, money time and resources uh, the that is uh, sometimes money is a big uh, obstacle to overcome okay uh, time and effort no problem it's all uh, whether you have it in yourself or not uh, most of the time entrepreneurs are considered uh, very hard working uh, and effort they can put in okay and then uh, finally uh, you then see uh, which idea or maybe sometimes it could be two ideas uh, running uh, parallel uh, maybe the two ideas is about two products rather than you know uh, two separate uh, projects or two companies altogether okay so this is one way of coming uh, with ideas and evaluating the ideas okay this also another way uh, you can also ask the question uh, why in this slide and then in another slide uh, next slide is how <laughs> that's another way to evaluate all the ideas that you already put in so you know just like when you do exam the mcqs you come across an uh, mcq question which is uh, you don't know you didn't study for it so you use the process of eliminating what is uh, not likely the correct answer okay uh, same thing here so with all your ideas you eliminate uh, first which one is not uh, uh, definitely you will not carry forward uh, improve on some other ideas that you think uh, has a, a potential if being improved and then you next prioritize prioritize uh, which one is uh, you know from say 15 become five uh, prioritize uh, which is important uh, so you go like ask that question why must i do uh, this uh, idea to become a startup like that so same thing here with uh, the ideas to uh, narrow down or shortlist it you can also ask the question how uh, next or maybe after why <laughs> you already narrow down say from 15 to 5 maybe you can ask the question in within that 5 how do i go about uh, you know taking the idea to until it become a product uh, so look at the strength of the idea uh, among the five uh, whether it fits your temperament it's a bit uh, difficult to actually uh, choose an idea based on temperament but looks like it's also been suggested here i personally uh, don't think uh, you know temperament should be the uh, obstacle but rather uh, you can uh, adapt to any possibility of taking ideas to become product and then uh, look into the planning whether any of these I ideas have so much of planning uh, whether you are committed for that and then uh, next is looking at the resources uh, re when it comes to resources is actually uh, one that always come into mind is the financials uh, the the uh, you know loans or you know support uh, by family members on giving you the uh, uh, money financial support okay so uh, in the previous slides i already given you at least uh, two ways of uh, uh, evaluating all the ideas until become uh, shortlisted okay? but uh, those ideas uh, or those ways of uh, you know uh, evaluating are very uh, subjective uh, is there a way more objective uh, so this is one way to do it you start with step one as in decision matrix analysis where uh, uh, 10 say 10 uh, ideas uh, are brought into decision matrix analysis and you will see it will be actually helping in uh, having more measurable measurable way have uh, numbers uh, scores that will decide 10 become 5 and then you take that five uh, ideas, the top uh, favored ideas, to go into the pet comparison uh, analysis, where five uh, also because of the numbers uh, scoring that or grading, uh, the five then will become two. 
And then the next step, which is step three, using the question framework. Finally, from the two, you can come to conclusion which of the two that you want to proceed in uh, in your startup uh, venture uh, to become a company and then uh, hopefully product or service. So uh, this is a more uh, objective where scoring is actually uh, involved uh, and the scoring is done by you. So let's look at the step one, which is a decision matrix analysis, where you come up with all the ideas and then you put it in, uh, in a table. Uh, I'll show you the table in the next slide. So this is the uh, slide that will have the template. Okay? You uh, will have the ideas on the left and then you have factors, weightage, and then weighted uh, score. Okay, uh, we proceed immediately to the next slide. So you have the factors affecting your idea uh, to help you to come up with the factors. Uh, I'll uh, give some suggestion in the next uh, slides to come. And then all those ideas that you have brainstormed with your uh, group members can then be put. Okay. And then this weightage is interesting because uh, you can, uh, there are five factors, so you can just put as 25%, 25%, 25%. But in uh, some instances, uh, you may want to, maybe factor three is looking into the financial resources. You know, financial resources is a big determining factor so you want to give uh, more 35 percent or 45 percent so whatever 10 percent more you put into factor three you have to reduce in another factor uh, maybe factor one is about uh, you know your temperament uh, your attitude towards that idea maybe you just want to put Put it as 10% like me i told you temperament shouldn't be so important but maybe for you important uh, in uh, if it was for me i'll just put that 10 percent for factor one which is uh, my attitude towards the idea or you know like i like it or don't like uh, factor three i will put as the, uh, 35 percent because it's about uh, finding the money uh, relevant to achieve these ideas okay and then uh, Scoring. Uh, the scoring will be uh, if you feel the you know uh, factor three finding the financial uh, you know for for it is quite easy. Uh, you give high score like five. If you say that idea very difficult to uh, find uh, need a lot of money, uh, you put the zero uh, like that. Okay. And then uh, after you have. Uh, uh, unbiasedly uh, done the scoring hopefully you the crucial is how you do the scoring for each one of those ideas if you have done it well then you can do the uh, weighting of the score okay uh, so you calculate the weight score uh, also careful when you have that weightage you also need to calculate but if it's 25 percent 25 percent all equal uh, easier to calculate okay no problem so here uh, in the next slide you can see uh, all the factors uh, we uh, i help you uh, there's not got uh, five factors right uh, this is an example you can also have other factors that you can think of but this is uh, you know can say a template uh, uh, factor one is about investment required i told you money is a uh, uh, a huge uh, resource uh, or factor in deciding any idea. So if you think it's uh, difficult, then you uh, lowly score it, put it as uh, one, you know, hard and risky, need more money. Or if you think uh, less money required, uh, or a lot of money required, but easy to get, uh, you know, loan or, you know, investment, then you score it as four or five like that. 
Okay. So same thing with number two is uh, operation, marketability, uh, fit your interest and strength. Uh, this is the one I say weight, uh, weightage uh, up to you. Lah. <laughs> you want to put a higher percentage there or low percentage or equal per percentage for all five. It's all up to you. Uh, product different, different, uh, differentiation is about competitive uh, competitor uh, having same product. So this is the one I was referring just now about the weightage, but uh, um, I may have got it a bit wrong. Uh, if there is five factors, it should be 20% each, uh, then only 100%, not uh, the way I put it as 25%. But uh, you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you feel like uh, marketability is needed to be uh, higher, say 30%, and then investment requirement also 30%, then you can reduce in other places like uh, uh, fit for your interest become 10%, uh, uh, whether product differentiation, uh, you can become 10% uh, less, uh, so, where, so that uh, weighted score will still be 100%. And also make sure when you calculate the final uh, score, uh, you take into account this weightage. So I hope you understand uh, this slide. So the decision matrix analysis uh, will enable you with scores, values from, uh, you know, uh, 10 choices to become uh, five, uh, which will then enter into the next step, which is paired compar comparison analysis has been shown in this slide. So here given an example of a decision matrix analysis, you can see here uh, the 10 uh, you know, ideas has been uh, given scores. And then uh, at the end, uh, all the scores have been uh, tabulated. And uh, based on that, we should be able to have the top five uh, in the next slide. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So you have here, uh, it's all uh, done by you. So your way of judging uh, should be good enough. And then it's a matter of uh, tabulating the score and putting it as top five. And then looks like uh, after that, the top five ideas uh, included the smoothie, uh, business into smoothie, travel app, portable cooler, exercise apps, and also Bluetooth sunglasses will qualify to go to the next uh, step uh, in the uh, PET uh, analysis. So here we look at the PET comparison uh, analysis where you already achieved five ideas. You now use this uh, table to put the idea one to idea five on the uh, column and then idea one to idea five in the rows that uh, been suggested. Uh, of course, make sure that they don't like, uh, you know, idea one is not compared with idea one. Again, uh, you'll understand better in the next uh, slides to come. So here you see that already included the smoothie uh, and then the red uh, uh, area there so that you don't compare smoothie with smoothie okay then you can compare exercise apps bluetooth uh, sunglasses portable cooler travel apps with smoothie okay do the same on the uh, column uh, as well uh, and then uh, we move uh, forward in terms of uh, scoring next for the scoring, you can see here where uh, some examples already been given while uh, others not been scored yet, uh, even though put there zero, but need to have a better scoring uh, than zero. So uh, you compare, uh, you can either have uh, plus one until plus three uh, and or uh, minus one until uh, minus three and also zero so possible. Okay, so uh, for example, smoothie has been favored. That's why it's plus there compared to exercise app. Uh, so 
two uh, uh, values been given for smoothie as a better choice for business compared to exercise app. And at the same time, smoothie is not been favored with Bluetooth sunglasses, uh, uh, selling Bluetooth sunglasses. Okay? That's why it has minus there. That means uh, minus means uh, you prefer the Bluetooth sunglasses rather than smoothie. Okay? So uh, lowly scored. So let's look at smoothie and uh, uh, let's look at the Bluetooth sunglasses there. Uh, yeah, let me just use the pointer. Okay. So here you already put minus one. You must make sure that you also use plus one here. That means uh, since here you don't favor the smoothie, you favor the Bluetooth sunglasses. So plus means um, Bluetooth sunglasses is favored. Just like uh, plus here means the smoothie is favored, but not the exercise app. So uh, the, uh, you know, uh, plus two and minus one must be same. Uh, you know, you have to be minus two here and plus one there. So do the same for every uh, box there okay even this one and until you finally arrive to completely filled up table as we will show next uh, the next uh, uh, slide here all been filled up and finally you tabulate the total as you know for smoothie is plus seven and exercise app is plus two. But that's not the end of it. You can also accumulate what you have done uh, as shown. In. So here you have uh, all the scores, uh, not only the pad comparison analysis, which you just did in the uh, slide before this, you can also use the decision metric analysis uh, done a few slides earlier. Uh, so you add together, therefore you get 11.2 and do the same for all the others. Okay? And you get all the score. Okay? And now uh, to go to the next uh, uh, level, uh, they, they call it a, a question framework, choose two highest. And looks like the highest has been the uh, smoothie business as well as uh, exercise apps to proceed to this uh, uh, question framework. Then you can decide uh, which one is better for the final idea. Only one idea will go forward. So it looks like we started off with 10 ideas, then we brought forward to uh, this pad comparison to five ideas. Yeah? And then from there, we achieve two ideas. And looks like these two ideas will now go into this question framework. So in the final step, which is step three, is to have these uh, five questions to decide on uh, which of the two uh, ideas finally can be uh, most suitable to carry forward as the uh, startup venture. So uh, let's look at these uh, questions that will be imposed uh, to you in order to help you to decide which of the two ideas is the best. So here are all the uh, components, uh, five components uh, with various questions in each component. Uh, the first uh, component is touching on a customer problem. Uh, you want to ask the question whether the kind of uh, customer uh, that you will end up uh, will end up buying the product. Uh, doesn't matter you have the smoothie or the uh, exercise app. Will they uh, go for which one more? Uh, 
is it a you know uh, how painful is the problem and how your product and service can solve a problem okay uh, so you must ask all these questions for the uh, you know uh, component or framework of question uh, of customer you have these questions then you have implementation uh, or executing it is it easy to uh, work in developing a smoothie compared to exercise app uh, so you also have certain questions for that purpose then you have the market size now i've got a lot of questions there uh, uh, to think about from getting the very first customer for your smoothie or the exercise app until you get the hundred customer uh, uh, is it uh, going to ever reach the hundred customer for uh, both of this product or maybe one product has better chances of being uh, or having the uh, buying powers until 100 customer uh, so which is it is it the smoothie or is it the exercise app so ask question and therefore hopefully you come to a conclusion and then also have this usp unique selling point uh, how is it unique uh, is the smoothie unique compared to the exercise app so keep on asking question then you have also one more component that is competitor so competition is always uh, a huge problem if you have uh, a lot of competitors is it going to help in getting customers you know, sometimes you have a lot of competitors because uh, there is also a lot of customers uh, like my product so that's why i was confident uh, but if you have like you know exercise apps with uh, a lot of exercise apps there with very few customers uh, very few people actually go to gym then you have a big problem there okay so assuming uh, you have uh, asked questions in that five areas and finally looks like you have made a decision and the decision is actually uh, do the smoothies uh, you maybe you have a very unique uh, smoothie that you know for sure will not fail compared to having an exercise uh, app so uh, my own personal choice would have been going for the smoothie rather than um, exercise app but uh, you uh, see whether you have also come to the final decision of having a smoothie rather than uh, exercise app the next part of the lecture is actually to do a comparison between uh, or to define what is product based company and service based company uh, i think you have a clear idea about it uh, product is you know uh, tangible uh, it is about uh, uh, give you example uh, i have uh, two products here which um, okay this is my first ever product which uh, i worked on some three or four years ago okay and then this is the latest product which i have uh, come up with to the market uh, this year okay All right so uh, these are called uh, capsules uh, they are capsules let me see whether i can open Okay. so they are you know capsules okay. capsules okay. and they are made of uh, ingredient is the first one the product i told you it's called uh, nina square root it is based on this uh, one uh, plant, uh, Tonka Ali, uh, in scientific uh, name, Uricoma longifolia, only one plant. Okay. Well, this one okay, is called Bioroot To Ali capsule, and it has, as you can see, two plants. Uh, in terms of Malay uh, term, they are still called Tonka Ali. But under the term Tungka Ali, got few plants. So this one has Uricoma longifolia, 
as well as the black tungka ali uh, that is scientifically known as polyaltia bulata okay so one product is having one type of tungka ali while the other one having two but the secret is uh, the second one actually have three tungka ali plants that's my secret okay uh, to make sure i keep certain secrets to myself uh, so the competitor cannot uh, obtain uh, what else is in there. Okay, so that is product which is uh, uh, tangible, and then you have service-based uh, uh, company that is servicing, uh, maybe making website or maybe a barber, you know, cuts hair. It's all skill, right? Uh, Customer-driven. Uh, and then you also have uh, other like you know lawyer doctor uh, doctors clinic uh, have uh, and then lawyer partnership with many lawyers uh, all giving service uh, uh, i also felt like a uh, uh, supermarket is also service based although it's product but they buy and put uh, in the shelves uh, for servicing people uh, who are buying things okay so i hope you have an understanding about product based company like you know my company which uh, deals with two tongkat ali products i am sharing with you my product because after this uh, all the slides to come uh, on uh, business uh, model canvas i can relate it uh, in how i develop these products based on that bmc okay so let's move on to the next slide. So uh, looks like in comparison between product base and service base is uh, one is uh, capital intensive. I can also relate this that to develop the products that I have, uh, it took a lot of uh, uh, labor, uh, just like the guy showing a lot of uh, uh, man, man hours, okay? And whenever I want to make new batch of uh, a bottle capsule, also takes a lot of labor. So uh, product base seems to be more labor intensive compared to service base. Uh, they say it's uh, you know uh, more of uh, customer intensive. Huh? I do I a bit disagree. It's labor intensive. Uh, because uh, the service base is about uh, customer related okay? imagine if you cut the hair wrongly uh, they don't come again uh, and then if you uh, you know uh, dentist uh, in a, your own clinic and if you don't do the work uh, one dentist uh, you know working for say 100 patients in a day uh, you don't solve uh, the food problem you cannot go to the next uh, uh, you know uh, patient and therefore you don't get paid so a lot of uh, customer dealing with customer so more of a customer intensive rather than a product base okay now we're going to look into a different area itself it's about business model canvas uh, this uh, BMC is also part of your uh, assignment where you look into uh, business model canvas and another one called business plan. Okay, they are uh, in a way both are related to planning, but business plan uh, business planning is more thorough, uh, more uh, effort need to be put. Uh, therefore better in uh, looking into whether it will become uh, uh, a business that will work out but this one is more like prior to business planning uh, so it is uh, uh, less intensive in preparation but uh, useful as an initial uh, planning tool for understanding whether the idea can uh, finally become uh, successful so it's all helping in planning uh, however when i started uh, my products i wasn't aware about this business model canvas i am uh, after learning about it and also learning about business plan i can tell you uh, 
it would have been nice if I was uh, given this exposure about business model canvas as well as business plan. So let's look in the slides to come. What is business model canvas? So you can use it to plan ahead. To put uh, this in a nutshell, uh, business model canvas is about uh, looking into planning ahead uh, by putting it in one single paper. Okay, but business plan comes after pages after pages of uh, writing. Okay, but business model canvas all the uh, nine uh, uh, blocks. Uh, so nine areas of the content is just put in front of you after you are prepared to see and have a roadmap from zero until the whole thing is done and sold to the customer. Okay, has been put there. You create the product or the kind of service and then finally sell to the customer. Uh, before create to uh, become customer a lot of effort okay as i will share with my products and then customer buys it uh, uh, it's a great feeling that customer buys it and then to sustain the revenue that means you have captured the market for your product and so you just go round and round until uh, it uh, is sustaining your business so this is a slide that tells you why BMC, Business Model Canvas, uh, you read about it. Uh, better I demonstrate uh, it has nine uh, blocks. We go through each one of the blocks by using uh, my products itself. So you saw in the previous slide, there is uh, nine blocks or elements. And this nine can be put into four uh, uh, separated uh, uh, segments, if you call it. Uh, uh, let me tell you uh, the segments uh, in the nine blocks can be put either uh, to create. Uh, so in my uh, product, I created the uh, capsules, which has Tonkat Ali in them. Okay? And then I sell them uh, hopefully the customer buys it and then i sell through a delivery delivered to them and they try it on and they are happy they fall in love uh, that's where the heart and keep buying to sustain my revenue <laughs> so that's how you can relate in these four components which is to create to deliver to the customer and then uh, uh, you know the heart comes to love the product and they keep buying that means to sustain uh, the revenue so that is the four separation uh, let's look at each one in the following slides to come so to understand each of the block uh, we start with customer segment uh, you can start also in other uh, blocks doesn't matter uh, I was thinking how to relate this to you or how to uh, teach you I think uh, best is if I use example and uh, what better example than use my own product okay so uh, we took some uh, 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 at least uh, I think five years to develop both of this product uh, so uh, customer segment okay let me just show you uh, I have uh, pamphlets. Uh, you can see we have pamphlets. This is the company. Okay. This is the uh, first. Uh, okay, a lot of uh, words in there. Pamphlets or brochures. Okay. Then we, uh, you know, uh, made it better because uh, some. Uh, say the brochure shouldn't have so much uh, wording so we then uh, made it better okay for the product of nina square root okay in bahasa as well as in english okay 
So a lot of effort is uh, put into, and uh, I am uh, uh, in favor of uh, uh, the other product by Ruto Ali. This is my first product, but we will be talking about the BMC uh, using this first product, which is by Ruto Ali. Okay. So uh, we start with the customer uh, segment and then see how I can prepare the BMC for Bayruto Ali Capsule. Uh, this product is meant for, uh, it's called aphrodisiac. Uh, um, men <laughs> men uh, have uh, sexual problems, uh, have tendency to take this uh, capsule. And uh, normally, people who are above 40 have, uh, you know, lowering of uh, hormone, the male hormone called testosterone. So, in uh, we already studied, we did, did the R&D and found these plants that is found in Bayoruto Ali can elevate testosterone. And we realized that uh, every man needs testosterone. But the one after 40 tend to have testosterone dropping over the years. Uh, uh, physiologically or story is, uh, one of the story is, uh, after the age of 40 uh, or 45 and so, uh, the body thinks you already got married, got kids, so no need to focus on that activity. Uh, I hope you know, understand what activity I'm talking about. The testosterone drops every year. Okay? So, uh, in order to boost up the testosterone, that individual who is 40 and above can look into taking a supplement such as my product. Uh, taking it every day, uh, one capsule in the morning and then one more capsule at night uh, after meal. After 20 days, it actually elevates testosterone. Uh, we have tested in animals, uh, research animals, and we have published it. So, when it comes to customer segment, I am interested to sell my product for those who are 40 years and above. So, that's my segment uh, interest. I can also sell people uh, or individuals below 40 years of age especially those who are, you know, going to the gym and exercising because this product also uh, supports the building of muscle over fat. So more on muscle, less on fat. So people who take this product also uh, will become less obese. Huh? So, uh, but my customer segment is more to uh, age 40 and above. And the next block is value propos proposition. That means uh, what is so unique about this product. Huh? So what is so unique about Bioruto Ali? I can say it is uh, able to give the uh, customer once they buy and they use it every day. In the first 20 days, it's a bit slow because it's natural. Huh? It has plants, it doesn't have uh, drugs. And after 20 days, it is for sure will boost the testosterone level of that individual. So it is been proven and it will do the job and therefore that is the USP. This slide basically, uh, you know, to give an impression uh, to compare with Bayruto Ali, uh, they can also take the root of the plant. Uh, what is inside this uh, product is actually root. Uh, but uh, you know the orang asli, the indigenous people, they say take the root and boil it and then drink it. But uh, troublesome, right? No? So just like this, uh, instead of uh, having a salad that you make every day, you already have it uh, ready made. Uh, so same thing with my product, it's already in capsule, so it is very convenient. So next block is the channel. How do I uh, promote it? And how do I uh, make sure once the customer buys it, I send it to the customer? Uh, the how to promote the channel, we have uh, decided since it's a product that, uh, you know, uh, related to sexual dysfunction, 
or sexual performance, uh, that is uh, libido. These are all comes under the big uh, word called aphrodisiac. So since males are a bit, uh, you know, uh, shy to go to a shop and buy, although there are shops which sell this kind of product. So what we have decided is to use the online marketing tools, you know, Facebook, Face, uh, FB ad, Muda.my. Uh, we have also tried eBay. Uh, we sell it more discreet, uh, does not, uh, uh, so the customer don't feel ashamed. Uh, they can just contact us or do the online order and then we deliver it by using uh, normally I send by post laju sometimes even COD I meet the customer in some uh, you know uh, uh, common area like McDonald's or in the uh, Petronas station and then do the dealing okay and then it's a uh, cash on delivery but in terms of uh, uh, FB ad, we, we popularly uh, use FB ad rather than uh, Muda.my or uh, other uh, online tools uh, more successful in FB ad. Uh, once we get the order, we ensure that they do the payment. Uh, we have a bank account number. Uh, then we see the evidence uh, payment already done, uh, slip of payment then only we uh, you know send the product through post laju so the customer uh, we need to build the uh, you know understanding trust uh, until they submit the money then only we uh, send by uh, putting in a proper packaging and send by post laju in terms of customer relationship uh, which is uh, uh, block number four here uh, I have had uh, many, uh, uh, re what do you call, communication with the customer. Uh, many questions come about by the customer. Uh, some customers could be never have ever used any product like uh, Tongkat Ali related. Uh, so they will ask a lot of questions about what is Tongkat Ali, how does it work, uh, what is the meaning of uh, low testosterone, uh, some are very, uh, you know, uh, uh, sexual questions as well. Uh, so I will handle them. Uh, being uh, the, you know, uh, uh, principal scientist behind this product. Sometimes I also let uh, handle by my students who are also uh, part of the staffing for this company. Okay? Uh, but uh, when a girl is involved and dealing with a man, so you can understand uh, sometime got difficulty. So, but uh, you know, uh, my student has learned how to handle uh, any question, uh, uh, sincerely giving the facts uh, rather than deviating into, uh, you know, some sexual harassment altogether because this product is as such. Okay? So uh, customer relationship is important. You have to ensure a good customer relationship but uh, not until uh, you know just uh, communication but rather until there is a purchase been done altogether so looks like uh, under this uh, block uh, customer itself is uh, not only about you know uh, communicating interacting until uh, sales is achieved but also in terms of uh, uh, all this promotion, uh, we do a lot of promotion for this product in uh, FB ad. Uh, we have nice uh, brochure or very short uh, infographics. Uh, it's also we do uh, this, uh, not say discount, but more of promotion. Uh, we don't have vouchers and all because we think we get vouchers. More we have to spend money to make that voucher. But we do promotion during Hari Raya, uh, Merdeka, uh, Merdeka, we call it Merdeka promotion, where we sell it at the price of say 69 ringgit. Uh, normally the 9 ringgit they have been put for the postage. Okay, So 69 ringgit if you buy one. And if you buy two, uh, we can give it up to uh, 120, uh, so 110 ringgit. Uh, we have a discount. 
<laughs> uh, like a promotion. So we encourage people like bundle up to buy two rather than buy one. And it seems to help uh, during this uh, Merdeka promotion or Hari Raya, where we bundle up two of the Bayrut Tho Ali and put it at a price of 110 uh, rather than uh, 129 uh, for you know the postage included. So you can see in this slide there are various ways to uh, you know have a customer promotion. Uh, you attract them, uh, for instance, like uh, Shopee, uh, you have, you, you know, in uh, free uh, delivery, uh, you have a rebate voucher, uh, you, uh, which has a time period, uh, as been shown there, and then uh, you buy this uh, minimum of 50 ringgit, you will get uh, that, uh, you know, voucher rebate of 15 ringgit. Uh, you also have uh, cards, uh, loyalty cards, membership uh, cards. Uh, so you can give the cards to the customer and they can collect points. Maybe after certain points, uh, maybe you can give it for free, the product or something else for, uh, you know, to promote. So drive the customer to stay with you. The next block is about revenue stream, and you can see uh, uh, some of the things there. Question: uh, Income generated by the company. So uh, just like that, Bayrut uh, Ali also, uh, we stated there uh, you need 20 days uh, of taking the capsule. So I'm quite happy. That is our way to keep the revenue because in that bottle there are 60 capsules and uh, each day need two capsules so one bottle can last for 30 days and then i already say uh, only after 20 days you will start to see the results because this is natural uh, this is not drugs uh, like you know viagra in two days can see uh, two hours can see okay but this is uh, you know natural uh, natural is uh, 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 very much supported than synthetic uh, so that is also good and we have customers preferring natural rather than synthetic drugs and once I say it takes more than 20 days to see the increase in testosterone therefore the benefit of the product or benefit of Tongkat Ali can then be witnessed so since I give the bottle which has only for 30 day usage most probably if the customer follow the direction after the 20th day, see the benefit and they will definitely buy the second uh, bottle. So with that in mind, I already created a revenue where the one customer will definitely buy two bottles. Uh, so it carries on like that. Okay? So that's the good thing about supplement. They need to buy again and again. Uh, for ensuring that they see the benefit of the supplement to be present in their body. Here are ways to, you know, uh, for this block, uh, for revenue, uh, keeping the revenue to sustain the revenue to carry on, uh, the customer keep coming back. So uh, one example is, the, you can see the Marriott Hotel. Uh, they will sell these, uh, uh, you know, uh, vouchers. Uh, it's, a, it's like a book uh, membership. Uh, maybe you pay 1,000 ringgit for that book, which has a lot of uh, vouchers inside. Maybe one voucher gives you a free one night stay in uh, any one of the Marriott hotels. Uh, I know because I put I have purchased it before. So this is one way of uh, bringing the um, hotel uh, customer to come to that hotel, and then uh, by uh, that voucher they stay and they are fascinated with the hotel. Uh, they will keep coming back. So that's one way of uh, actually creating revenue. So here have uh, a lot of resources. Uh, some of these resources also needed to be uh, in place to actually manufacture this product.
it's not there it's not that been uh, easy for me one has been uh, resources of getting uh, financial uh, support to develop this product and luckily i got a grant uh, government grant uh, to start up and sustain up to the production i also have uh, money given to me to uh, buy equipment you know for processing the raw material from tongkat ali uh, root it's quite a, a real root uh, solid root need to be processed to become powder extract and then put into capsule so there are many resources involved uh, that's why product type of uh, company has uh, manufacturing involved labor involved labor intensive and also financially also need to involve money so i also have uh, intellectual property we already filed for a uh, patent so also protected you know? anybody wants to uh, take this product can also deal with the uh, the the owner and they can pay royalty and they can uh, sell instead uh, to customers also possible so because we have intellectual property already been filed in this uh, bayrutho ali uh, production and also selling uh, there's a lot of activities even uh, that's why they call it r and d c r and d and c uh, you have to do research and development and then finally commercialization activities so plenty of uh, activities actually came about in order until it it has become a product uh, one of the activities that i can share with you which is a key activity is to liaise or communicate with the uh, orang asli you know, they have to go into the jungle only they are allowed by government to go and harvest the tongkat ali and sell it for their own uh, uh, profit okay so i have good communication with a particular group of tonga ali uh, uh, harvesting indigenous people and i have to communicate with them uh, go physically collect the tonga ali uh, bring it to uh, my production uh, 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 you can call it production plant or just a small uh, room okay then you have uh, four different equipment that need to be used to uh, process it and then i have to give the raw material that has been processed to a gmp plant in kuala lumpur uh, gmp is good manufacturing process and that also uh, you know because they have a very clean lab uh, so it doesn't get contaminated uh, it's a necessary requirement under the ministry of health because my product is registered it has uh, uh, you know approval uh, by the ministry of health so these are uh, some of the key activities i can share with you uh, it goes on until uh, promoting to the customer until selling to the customer and getting the profit so many activities so here given uh, uh, some of the activities example uh, it can be as uh, simple as delivery uh, delivery to the customer delivery to the good manufacturing process plant uh, uh, the delivery of the route from indigenous people to me and then me back to the lab uh, or the production plant so many things uh, is involved uh, there's a lot of problem solving involved uh, we have learned a lot uh, until what it is now uh, in terms of social media also we have learned a lot uh, how to uh, handle the procedures of a facebook ad uh, muda how to use it uh, paid one or non paid a lot of activities uh, quality control also we have uh, failed sometimes in the production and then we know how to add a few steps to overcome that uh, that next time no failure the quality is uh, to the standard required by ministry of health so lots of activities looks like it okay now here just to give you a comparison between uh, you know supermarket uh, what are the activities involved and also food truck okay nowadays food truck is more 
popular in overseas but i see even in uh, around factory areas of say kuantan they have a food truck you can see the different different activities uh, they differ very much compared to a food truck uh, looks like uh, uh, more uh, lesser activities compared to supermarket they have more activities therefore you have more people working in the supermarket so we come to another block which is the key partners uh, i said just now for bayruto ali the key partners is going to be the indigenous people who painstakingly go into the uh, forest uh, jungle and look for the tree uh, only they know which tree and then to uproot it is not easy they use special jacks uh, to uproot uh, sadly the whole tree dies uh, no choice okay and then other key partners includes my gmp plant uh, they call it tpm technology sundarian parahad uh, which is found in bukit jalil they are specifically my partner because they will take the raw material that i process with my uh, uh, people who help me uh, i pay them and then uh, the raw material is sent to this uh, factory where they will put into capsule you know, they have machines to do it in a clean way uh, so capsules and then they will put it in the bottle put the label seal it and then put the hologram you know, there is also hologram in every bottle you can see there is a hologram therefore it is uh, orila uh, and uh, this hologram only put by the gmp plant i cannot put it so i cannot uh, you know fake uh, you know just put anything inside there they do it in a clean way there is no microbes and also no heavy metal so more detailing on the key partners uh, i have already given you example in the last slide using my product so here also you can see more even the supplier is considered as key partner in some production plant you also have this block on cost uh, structure so in order to come up with the pricing you have to make sure you calculate every cost which could be fixed cost and also variable cost uh, so uh, whatever hidden cost you have to take into account in coming up with a product and therefore you can then put the final pricing it is crucial that the final price pricing is put not to burden the customer and also to look at the competitor pricing on all the product relevant to Tungkat Ali. And that's why finally we decided to have the pricing to be, uh, you know, uh, priced at 69 ringgit per bottle. Okay? With uh, that 9 ringgit is meant for uh, poslaju, <laughs> courier. Okay. So you can see that uh, three components has been uh, known to be the cost structure, but the one uh, startup cost like buying the equipment, uh, you know, uh, transportation like buying a van, uh, all that is only one off. Uh, one time you buy, but it's a big sum. It's normally startup cost will be the big sum. You know, you to buy the equipment, you, you need to spend thousands and even millions for some uh, companies of production okay but the fixed cost and also variable cost uh, uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, coming uh, uh, every month uh, for especially variable cost maybe utility electricity bill uh, water bill uh. so to end the lecture uh, given here the business model canvas for some of examples uh, like you know kfc uh, although this is not a very good example because it's only given in one word but uh, when you do the assignment on business model canvas and also business plan uh, it is supposed to be uh, you know uh, much more than a single word for each block uh, there will be a format given here given the uh, uber uh, business for their business model canvas you can go through uh, what I have just uh, spoken 
about uh, Bioruto Ali capsule, uh, my own product. Uh, this is the business model canvas that I have uh, come about for it. Uh, you know, it is actually done uh, in uh, putting a lot of effort in understanding. So this will be uh, my uh, planning process for this product. So uh, I hope uh, it may not be that easy for you to understand. It's more of me to understand in achieving the product. So finally, we come to the conclusion and uh, for this lecture. Uh, so it looks like this lecture is uh, a bit more interesting because we looked at the critical factors that uh, to consider to start uh, coming up with business ideas. Huh? What are the critical factors? Uh, and then uh, two types of business, which are service and product. Uh, you see that uh, service is more like uh, skills uh, given and uh, to the customer and customer pay for the skill that is found. Okay? And then uh, not all business ideas are opportunities. So you have to understand you can come up with many uh, ideas like what Leonardo da Vinci came up with. He's a genius. He's a great person, but he didn't make um, all those ideas to become a uh, product. Uh, so you also must realize, uh, look into ideas which has uh, opportunity related to it. Okay? And then uh, this uh, way, if you have tons of ideas, how to know which idea will be useful? You can actually use a measurable way to come to a decision. And that is having these three steps of decision matrix pair comparison analysis, and finally, the five framework question to arrive to one single or best idea to go forward for the startup. And uh, once the idea is chosen, you can also use the business model canvas to be in one single page, huh? or maybe hopefully it's an A3 page, not an A4 page, or B4, uh, B2, uh, <laughs> very small page. Uh, so if you look at it in a big page, you have an understanding of uh, what kind of challenges that you're going to face in bringing uh, from uh, A to Z in making the product itself. 